watch my HE video. Uh, I'm afraid of clicking on your videos, uh, honestly. Uh, Wargaming makes a video about armor and you make video three times as long. Why this video is sh I do not like that. Uh, I, do you plan on making a video about how to spot and what did they do wrong in this video? Let me just make it abundantly clear. These are Wargaming's tutorial videos that new players are supposed to be watching. These are the videos that literally nothing can be wrong in the video because if it is, players are going to do things wrong. I am not ripping this series in half just for the fun of it. I'm doing this because there are things in these videos fundamentally wrong. There are people at a company being paid money to make videos that have fundamental flaws in them about their game. I'm going to point it out. This is something that someone has to do and none of the CCs are really gonna do it uh, besides a 29 minute uninterrupted video of them just picking it apart instead of explaining why things are wrong. And also, my videos are like a third of the length of theirs. So no, I'm not making a video three times as long as the original video explaining why it's bad. I'm making a video that is five minutes shorter and a minute longer than their video was explaining why it's bad, okay? Also, I won't add a sin for it, but I was told in the comments on the last video and someone confirmed in my Discord that the intro video music is from War Thunder. So that's interesting. Today, you'll learn how to see everything and be the eyes and ears of your team. You we won't cover all spotting mechanics in detail in this video. We already did that in the video that will appear in the info card in description. The information there is still relevant. Today, we'll talk briefly about the mechanics and pay more attention to how to use them. Sixth Sense is the ability that all commanders have by default. It shows that your vehicle has been spotted. Not immediately, but three seconds after you've been spotted. The standard disappearing time after you've been spotted... is 10 seconds. Signal range is the distance at which vehicle icons will be marked on the mini-map. The range is added to value of allied vehicles, so signal range isn't usually a problem. But sometimes it may prevent you from having full map information, especially low-tier battles. The draw circle is the radius within which you can see vehicles spotted by you or your allies. The view range circle is the radius within which you can theoretically spot enemy vehicles yourself. The maximum view range distance is 445 meters, but you're not guaranteed to spot the enemy at this range, since your view range is always reduced by the concealment. We'll talk more about that in the next episode. Concealment is the reason to boost your view range higher than the maximum 445 meters. You will spot enemies beyond that range, but additional view range meters will work to expose them. So, two tanks with view ranges of 445 and 500 meters will have the same maximum view range, 445 meters. But the tank with a view range of 500 meters will find a concealed opponent much earlier. Vegetation significantly improves concealment. The more bushes between you and your enemy, the harder it is to spot them. If you're closer than 15 meters to a bush, the vegetation in your sights will be semi-transparent and you'll get concealment from the bush without any penalty to your view range. But if you move 15 meters away from it, you won't be able to spot anymore, but you'll probably be able to shoot risk-free. Bushes only lose their masking properties after a shot within a 15-meter radius. Even the best concealment and thickest vegetation won't help at a distance closer than 50 meters. At that distance, you're guaranteed to spot any vehicle. And they're guaranteed to spot you. Players have nicknamed this mechanic the X-Ray. Keep it in mind, because X-Ray is the only way to spot tanks behind solid cover. It's also important to know that you see with view range ports, all vehicles have to them. To spot an enemy, you can either view range ports to see any of the visibility checkpoints. If you can't spot with your hull, keep that in mind, you're rolling out from behind the corner. Here's one example of how you can use this knowledge. If you are not spotted, 
and the enemy is about to go behind cover, you can wait until they're half there, and then shoot. That way you won't be spotted after the shot, since their view range ports will already be behind cover. That's if their friends aren't around, of course. And if the obstacle is destructible, you'll have to destroy it to see the enemy. Makes sense, right? Remember, that other vehicles or their wrecks are not an obstacle for view range. You can't shoot through them, but you can spot an enemy through them. You can also check a bush for enemies without even spotting them. Aim at the bush and raise the camera as high as possible. Tactical view will help. You can enable it in the game settings. Fire and look to see if the shell hits something behind the bush. Watch the tracer closely. If it disappears in the bush, it's either a magic shell or it's hit an enemy tank. but it's easier to spot an enemy the good old-fashioned way. To spot well, you need good view range. It's most important for light tanks, but can come in handy for other vehicle types too. View range will help medium tanks carry out scout duties when there's no light tank on the flank. Tank destroyers with good view range can spot targets for themselves more often. View range helps heavy tanks avoid taking damage from nowhere. Keep in mind that your view range is reduced when your observation devices are damaged. Your crew is stunned or your commander is injured. Consumables. Food consumables increase view range significantly. Equipment. Coated Optics is a timeless classic that provides a big boost to view range distance. Optics should be mounted on almost any light tank as a priority. It won't hurt to equipping a medium tank or a TD with it either. Commander's vision system is almost as important for scouts. First of all, it decreases the enemy's bonus to concealment from vegetation. And since tanks often hide in bushes, you'll have more chance of spotting them. Secondly, it decreases enemy concealment when they're on the move. It's useful against all vehicle types, but especially against light tanks because usually they don't have a penalty to concealment when on the move, but they do with Commander's Vision System. Improved radio set keeps the enemy you spotted visible for two more seconds. It also reduces the time you remain spotted by two seconds. It can be useful, but it's not very popular. Binocular telescope is good for passive play from one bush. It improves the view range more than coated optics.
But it only works when your tank is stationary. And optics always works, making it more versatile. Experienced scouts choose optics. However, binocular telescope can complement optics. For example, on mid-tier vehicles where you can't mount Commander's vision system. This way, you'll become even better tailored to doing runs from one bush to another. Finally, implementation. Your main task is to survive and spot hidden enemies for as long as they're on the battlefield. You won't help your team by spotting everyone at the start of battle. Then returning to your garage, your team won't have a scout for the rest of the battle, while the enemy team will. But don't stay too far behind either. When playing a light tank, remember that vegetation and enemy concealment always reduce your view range. To spot effectively, get as close as possible to enemy positions. But beware of enemy scouts and proximity spotting. The key for a scout isn't meters of view range, but how you use them. The most important thing is your position. Knowing initial routes and key bushes for spotting enemies is half the battle. Watch how experienced tankers play and memorize their positions. The other half is your ability to switch positions at the right time. Monitor the situation in battle to retreat or advance when necessary. You need to stay as close to the enemy as possible. All this ops aiming at you, the tool is close to the enemy as possible while also staying alive. The key for a scout and key bushes for spotting enemies is half the battle. You need to stay as close to the enemy as possible while also staying alive. That's it for today. Show this video to your friends who light the enemy up nice and bright, but not for long enough. Next time, we'll talk about concealment. See you soon.